If you've done anything with digital escape rooms, you probably already know that Google Sites is a great platform for hosting them. They're really easy to share and update, and they allow for lots of useful content to be embedded easily, like any kind of Google Docs, especially Google Slide Decks where you could hide clues, uh, YouTube videos where you could create uh, an intro to the narrative for the game or even hints for clues, uh, and even Google Forms where you might set up the actual locks themselves that students need to solve and unlock. One of the most useful mystery features though that Google Sites offers is the ability to hide pages from navigation. So any page that isn't hidden from navigation would show up for students to easily navigate to, click, and explore. Now that's great for normal websites, but for a digital escape room, we want to foster that sense of mystery and discovery. So the ability to actually hide pages from navigation, but still be able to get to them somehow is great for, for this model. So hiding pages is actually really easy. Uh, under the Pages tab, if you have a page already created that you want to hide, you simply need to hover over it, click the three dots that show up next to it, and click Hide from Navigation. And you'll see immediately that page disappeared from the navigation menu at the top. And if I go back, I can always click Show in Navigation and it'll come right back. So there are two ways that a page can be found if it's hidden from navigation. The first way is to go directly to its URL. So um, when I go to a page, I can get its URL and I can actually customize the back half of the URL too. So um, I might take that URL and link it in another clue somewhere, maybe like an object on a Google slide deck. Um, so that students can find that link, click it, and be taken to that hidden page where I have some more clues or a lock or something. The other way that students might be able to navigate to that specific page URL could be if I customized it to something that they could guess. And then I provided clues to hint at what the URL might be. Uh, and then students could take that information and make a guess at the URL and keep trying until they find the right page. So those are some ways that we could use the direct URL for the page, the hidden page, to, to add that feeling of mystery. And there's another way that students can find hidden pages on Google Sites, and that is through the search feature. So when you publish a Google Site, you will get a little search icon in the corner. And that search icon will pull any text that you search that it finds somewhere else on the site. So if I have the word the on another page, even if it's a hidden page, the page will show up in this, this results menu here. So all of these pages are actually hidden, but because there's text on that page somewhere that has the word the in it, this shows up. So if you're wanting to hide pages uh, and not have students be able to search for them, you're gonna wanna be careful with the language that you choose, especially in the title. Um, and Google will also pull text from titles of documents that you include. So um, if I look at this escape rooms page, I actually have a slide deck here and it's not gonna pull any text from the slides themselves, but if the title of the slide deck has text that was searched, then that whole page will show up. So the title of the slide deck was Escape the Ordinary. Even though the title of the page didn't have the word the in it, because the title of the slide deck that I embedded there had the word the, the page came up. So you want to be very careful about um, how you title your pages and pay attention to the titles of your documents. This will only really work with Google documents or Google media. So uh, YouTube would fall into that category as well. So if the title of a video that you embed there has the word the, then searching the word the would bring that whole page. Um, that doesn't apply to other things that you might embed. For example, if you were to create a widget on Scratch, um, the title of this widget, because it's not a Google product, wouldn't factor into the search. Yeah, that page isn't there. 
even know the word. The Scratch program itself has the word the in the title. So this can be maybe problematic if you want to just hide pages and use the direct URL, but it also creates some opportunities where you could create clues that tell students to search for certain things so that they try to find these hidden pages almost like a scavenger hunt. 